Hey everybody, it's Dad the Red, welcome back to Shining Song Star Nova. Right then, last we left off, we got suckered hard. The next day. Uh, and there's the little huntress herself. Good morning, Producer-san. Uh, oh. Uh, morning. It's just the usual lesson today. Julie went downstairs with a smile, knowing that her grip on my balls was as hard as iron. Sasami poked her head out from a back room. I almost said salami, and I feel terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really know what happened, but it looks like things turned out all right with Julie-chan. <laughs> For her, yeah. It's still too soon to tell whether things worked out or not, but we've come to a truce of some sort. By that I mean, if I don't squeeze the trigger, she won't either. <laughs> She's still dangerous, though. Girls like her bring a risk to an idol group. We might be unknown right now, but once Star Nova properly debuts, everyone will be expected to complete uh, to comply with the code of conduct. There won't be any second chances for her. Make sure she keeps her into the bargain. Hi. Right. Of course, but it's on. <laughs> oh god. Oh look. It's the little transformer. Uh Aki poked her face out from behind a whiteboard. Something reeks of fishiness. Oh, Nan sniffed her armpit, wondering if Aki was talking about her. <laughs> Not you, I mean them. Uh, you suppose Asa-chan's phonics at the Pekun's feelings? Eh, who you talking about? I bet Pekun resigned his job at Golden, Cow uh, Golden Goat to follow Asa-chan here. It's a secret love between the idol and her producer. Listen here, first it's Golden Calf, and second, I hear the producer was actually sacked. Honestly, the whole thing's uh, strange all over. For them to suddenly be getting along so well, when the day before yesterday, Sasuchan could hardly bear to look him in the eye? Hmm. Boy. No scheming afoot. Hey, just what's your relationship with the producer anyways? <laughs> uh, uh, relationship? Ah, like did your folks set you up with a marriage or with him or something? <laughs> Shut up, you bumpkin. It's obviously it's not that. You used to work with him, right? Just how did the two of you end up where you were signed on with Golden Calf? Uh, w well, uh, actually, I never even spoke to the producer while we were at Golden Calf. It's a big agency, spread over 15 floors on a skyscraper, so even if we both worked at the same place, the chances of us actually crossing paths were small. Yeah, listen here, it's obvious that there's something going on between the two of you. And yet, you expect us to believe that you haven't even spoken to each other before coming here? Well, uh -huh, maybe their families be feuding, so they gotta keep their feelings secret. Forbidden romance. She's drooling. Stop that. Wipe your mouth, you little... I can't say it's anything quite so dramatic. Actually, it's more like he saved me from a bad situation. Eh. And the heartfelt piano stops. The touching subject! Oh, I should swoon! <laughs> I can't really talk about the about in detail, but I had the producer a debt. And it's not to bend over a desk. After all, it's my fault he ended up like this. Eh? I can't hear you. Speak louder. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. <laughs> Why does that sound like a, like a summation of your existence in general? Or at least your, your grasp on uh, reality. You kind of get it, but you kind of don't. Hey, you two. Give us a chance some room. I'm sure you guys wouldn't appreciate if someone hassled you about your life story. Oh, Maria. You're looking energetic today. Well, I wasn't up all night tending to middle-aged geezers with marital issues. Sasachan, let me give you some advice. I always hear one or two stories from the men in this city. Either complaining they don't have a woman, or they're complaining about their woman. They say that on average, a man thinks about sex four times a day. Man, some people gotta step up their game. <laughs> what? Um, and considering how well sex sells nowadays, you'd think the real numbers are more like nine or ten times a day. Again, we gotta step up their game. And again, I'm just kidding. Uh, the real world's dirty. Men are horny, women are dumb. <laughs> wow. Life ain't like some shoujo manga. So take your mind off that producer and look up yourself. Yeah. Eh, Maria sure got fooled good by a guy during her girlhood, huh? <laughs> hey, don't go right on my backstory by yourself. Um, anyways, I don't think the producers like that. Eh, I guess it just can't be helped. Girls your age go the world with rose-tinted goggles. The goggles don't crack till you've been fooled a few times. <laughs> Empty laughter echoed inside Maria's chest. 
Ah, it looks like Mir's getting flashbacks. Now, will you just... <laughs> uh, not in left, uh, not in, not in, I don't fucking know. I still, I'm still trying to pronounce her fucking name. Well, the, the, the nickname. Left away before Moria could whack her on the top of the head. Whoop de doop doop doop. Is it safe? Well, I, I guess the breeze is not too bad. <laughs> Moria looked at Julie with shock upon learning her compatriot had flipped signs. Oh, Sundere. It's not like I like him or anything, Baka. <laughs> Baka John. He's probably just a class A loser who got fired from his real job and washed up here. <laughs> I bet he's just a stupid virgin, too. I can totally see him curling up to an arrogant Doc, uh, Doc and Makura every night and repeating to himself that two D's only needs. <laughs> uh, anyways, I doubt he's a player or anything. I guess he's more like just a loser. I don't think he's at the guts to trick us, though. <laughs> it's not like I particularly like him or anything. I'm just saying, uh huh. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, could it be that Julie Chan is taking a liking to the producer too? <laughs> uh, Natsuki jumped up behind Julie and split her hair into twin tails. Yeah, I, I suspected Sundares need blonde twin tails. What a perfect specimen. <laughs> Don't just toss me into a character archetype. Okay. Yeah, I, I did do that, but it was more of a bit of a joke. <laughs> it's a shoe fit, Cinderella. Don't worry, we only need to choose our character types eventually anyways. <laughs> Maria eyed Julie. Something happened between you and the producer last night, didn't it? Well, not really. Disbelief. <laughs> Quit staring at me. I don't think break time's over. Let's practice. Practice! Suspicious. Very suspicious. <laughs> it's turned to a love nest here. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to remember to call her Natsuki because I can't pronounce her nickname. So, pfft. Well, it's, I, I, I don't remember how her nickname is supposed to be pronounced, so, pfft. There you go. I went downstairs and into the dance studio. <laughs> no. Quit that, you creepy little... That girl's gathered around me. It's like being in the middle of a nest of hyenas. Den. Damn, that nest fucker. For once, I smiled and delivered good news. I said the day of your debut live has been decided. The debut live? A you mean it's really happening? Hey, yeah. Someone pinched my face. This isn't a dream, right? Natsuki chopped me in the top of her head. <laughs> he said pinch, not smack you. What the hell? Guess not a dream. You. I showed the girls a flyer for a live house near Akiba. Any song night, a local talent seeing the latest anime songs, March 11. Oh god. Seeing the flyer somewhat deflated the girls' energy. Any song fest? I thought you said it was supposed to be our debut live. Well, since it would be too difficult to hold our own live, the manager of the live house has agreed to let us sing our debut song at the event. Of course, we'll be singing covers of any songs as well. I should have known. No matter how you look at it, the real debut live is just not in the cards for no-name losers like us, eh? Well, I, I still think it's a good idea. Since there'll be people there for the event, it's not like we have to worry about singing to an empty room. <laughs> Maria shuddered. Please, anything but that. Speaking from past experiences, eh? The beginning chapter where we work our asses off for our debut live, and then we finally stand on our first stage. Only to discover that nobody's bothered to show up when the curtain rises is one exp experience I never want to experience ever again. Yeah. So, something like that has happened to Maria's past, eh? Ah, what a tear-filled backstory. Right out of an idle drama anime. <laughs> well, all idle units must begin somewhere, no? Well, I guess it's not too bad for our first live. Anyways, any songs, huh? Do you have a list of songs you want to sing? Actually, I thought you girls would have a lot uh, better idea of what songs are popular right now. Hmm. I can't really say much about anime. Not surprising. Oh, come on. You know that you're an expert. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with that fandom either. There you go. Uh, uh, uh-huh. It's always the same stuff as popular, right? How about the melancholy of Susan? Yeah, but it's still a kind of an iconic thing. <laughs> what era are you from? That shows pretty much ancient history now. 
No, no, if we're talking about pandemics, we've been across Japan right now. I just definitely love. <laughs> That's a good point. Ah, so we're an idol group who sings songs by fictitious, more popular idol groups. Cut, Mika, come on. You are the resident Chuni, you've gotta know. It's a cultural phenomenon, right? What's wrong with it? You have a problem? But. I offered a notepad to the girls. Please write down a set list of covers for the live. I believe three covers should be sufficient. Aki eagerly took the notepad. Okay, don't worry, Nichan. Aki-chan's got this. Let the girls work out the set list. We have approximately a month of the live. Please mind your lessons carefully in the coming weeks. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the day arrived. I walked downstairs to the studio on a certain matter. Good work. The girls had gained a silver of motivation thanks to the news of the live. While they still had a long way to go, it seemed like they were coalescing into something resembling a unit. With one exception. Hi. As I feared, Mika was the oddball of the group. Thanks to her one-woman fantasy act, the other girls were maintaining a wide circumference around her. Aww. In a way, Chunibia were loners. They operated on a wavelength different from regular people. <laughs> out of all the girls, Mika was the most challenging to figure out. Underneath her fake persona, she felt like an awkward recluse. What was a girl like that doing trying to become an idol? Mika noticed me watching her. Stop that. It's cute, but quit it. I was wondering. You watch the most late night anime out of all the girls here, right? Indeed. I monitor the airwaves dutifully to learn of the latest happenings throughout the kingdom. Then you could help out the live. You must already know the latest Anna songs by heart. And that is... More importantly, which direction of the, close, uh, the crows fly tonight? If eastwards, it means the Holy Crusade is approaching. We must make haste and prepare our defenses. Ah, bored in the topic, were we? This girl. She was obviously having trouble fitting in with the rest of the group. Had to do something so, she could, uh, they, they, so they could all work together as a team. The Lord of the Night has a mission for you, lowly one. W what the hell was I doing? That's a good question. I know what you're doing, but why? Suddenly, I got an agonizing flashback to my junior high days when I got into anime for the first time. I was such a dumbass those days. Marching around school like I was the protagonist of some anime, embarrassing myself in front of all the girls. Ugh, just the thought of all the humiliating things that left my ma which left my mouth during those years made me cringe hard enough my teeth to shatter. Uh, oh! The body part is- no, 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 <laughs> What orders do you carry from the Lord? She was just gonna play along with it. I had to push forward. This was the sake of the unit. A, a battle looms on the horizon. One which could determine the fate of the realm. This one is ready to lay down her life. Then good. For I shall require your services in, in preparing for that bloody day. You are to prepare songs. Songs to the denizens of the late night to rally our warriors. Bring them to your fellow bards and lead them in this endeavor. Understood. <laughs> it clicked, didn't it? Mika's act shattered to pieces as soon as, she, as soon as she realized what I was getting at. Unfortunately, that will prove a difficult task. Um, while I am well versed in the songs you seek, I'm afraid uh, I, I lack other qualifications. In other words, <laughs> uh, Mika outstretched her arms and opened her palms, as saying, "Just look at me. Years of staying up all night and sleeping in all day have made me into what society would call a human failure." <laughs> No employment, education, or training. I can't approach you, the girls. That they shine so brightly that my eyes hurt. They speak so fast that I cannot keep up. I only have life experience with one-on-one -on -one conversations at best. Speaking to six of the people, uh, of the girls simultaneously is like playing on nightmare mode. It's simply not possible. The other girls shine. I hated to speak poorly of my own talents, but Mika was overestimating their power levels. <laughs> Still speaking in her terms here, huh? For all intents and purposes, either girls were just normies trying to become celebrities. Hardly industry icons to be dazzled blind by. But you wanted to become an idol, right? Isn't that why you're here? <laughs> Inspired after watching a certain idol anime, I felt motivated to turn my life around by seeking employment in an industry which I was familiar with. <laughs> in short, I'm not sure if I'm cut out for this kind of work. I'm sorry. Mika bowed to me in defeat. Don't talk to me as if you were handling, handing in your letter of resignation. Besides, what was with this girl? She went and signed with a talent agency because of an anime? 
Did she know what she was in for? I sighed. Ah, but I should have figured. Stories like these are rampant in the industry. I've sat through quite a few interviews with some applicant would tell me uh, they wanted to become an idol because they kept seeing how happy idols were on TV and how they got to wear pretty dresses all the time. Basically, girls signed down with a very mistaken notion of what it was actually like to be an idol. It's not easy becoming an idol. Many girls suffer and get hurt. It requires devotion and the willingness to get back up after being pushed down. While many do not make it, I still believe that uh, it's something worthwhile. Ah, uh, go me. The end is going on like this. Hee hee. I guess giving these pep talks is part of my duty as a producer, but I always wondered, was I doing the right thing? Maybe it'd be better if they quit now, if they had doubts. Was it alright to lead these girls on when I fully knew that what most likely awaited them was a life of suffering and failure? God damn, that's bleak. You are one bitter motherfucker. Doubts crept into my mind. Seems to be the majority of what exists in your brain, Casey. Yes. No, I had to stop these thoughts. I still had a dream. To become the country's greatest idol producer. Just like these girls, I had to give it my all to accomplish my dream. The road may be difficult, but we're all driven by a love of idols. That's why I can't stop either. Uh, producer sounds more reliable than I thought. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's that reliable to begin with, so... Eh, score. <clears throat> Your words have rejuvenated this one, Black Knight. The night is absolute, but we shall hold steadfast, for our lord has no place in his ranks for weaklings. <laughs> With that, Mika returned to her one-woman delusion. Somehow, though, I felt as if I'd gotten closer to her. Actually, do you have some free time now? Eh. <clears throat> what say we make a pilgrimage to the Holy Grounds? Our mana reserves run low. We must seek the sword of the gospel to recharge. <laughs> Black Knight, you speak the truth. This one has been neglecting her mana. Holy Crusaders be cursed, so that, uh, that must be the cause of my recent foibles. Let us make haste and seek the one truth. I thank my ancestors the other girls had already left by now and entirely missed this scene. A bunch of girls who wanted to become pop idols found out the producer was a Chunibyo crazed manic otaku would be the end of me. But don't blame me. Porn, anime, and idols are the three pillars of Neo, of Neo Akiba. Often, all at the same time. <laughs> So it was part of my duty as a producer to remain in the know about what was trending. With an enormous g grin, Mika uh, marched, out of the marched out of the dance stage. Lead the way, Black Knight. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. And another ha. That's fake, uh, uh, fault though, but whatever. <laughs> Wait, is that a saga there? And there? <laughs> N um. Okay, stop looking for Easter eggs and shit. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.